Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Land Tries Puddle Nights. This is a game came out on Steam uh, maybe two days ago at this point, and I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, it's a puzzler. If you've ever seen me play a puzzle game before, you know that it's a dangerous place for me to be, because I don't always... Well, it's weird. I have good problem-solving skills, but very rarely in a digital space. <laughs> in a digital space, I'm much more improvisational than... Uh, you know, algorithmic. But either way, this came out. Sorry, I got distracted. I got wrapped up in my own stuff again. Uh, I received a code from the developer, so thank you for that. And let me just, uh, you know, I'll tab temporarily here. We're going to look at some of the metadata on Puzzle Nights. Sorry, Puddle Nights to give you some context here. It is... Probably 1250 USD would be my guess. It's always hard to tell with the Canadian dollar fluctuating constantly. It's in that range. It's 10% off for its opening week sale. It didn't come out a few days ago. It came out literally today. All right, let's send it. I'm ready. Prepare yourself. The way I understand it, it is a game about the maiden. She doesn't want to get her dress dirty by crossing these puddles. We've got a very long cape, and we know how to use it. Start me here. All the ladies and bishops of the kingdom are hereby invited to the biannual hygiene conference. Great timing. Dress code spotless. Make sure you won't step on mud when making your way. Yours, the queen. Okay. Well, step one would just be don't step on the mud. Problem solved. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Okay. I understand. Hello, sir. Oh, no. It's snake bird, dude. Easy enough. Oh no, I can already tell. This one is a little bit dangerous for me. I'm on the third tutorial level, and I'm like, I'm not sure if I got this figured out yet. You know what? We'll just learn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. You can't cross over. There you go. We'll learn some very basic patterns that we can utilize. Dignity preserved. I don't know about that. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll be the judge of that as we get a little bit further in here. Okay, rounded squares. So, uh, hold on. I was just about to yeet her onto the dirt instantly. There you go. So she should be able to go stand here and presumably... Oh, when she's on the cape! We can't move anymore. Okay, okay. Oh, no. I'm, a, I'm immediately like... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Already got myself into a, a locked situation. So we need for her to be able to cross. There you go. So that's, you know, look at the theme of the level, or the name of the level, to find the theme. She can't go any further, though. She can't step on that. How the heck are we going to do this one, then, brother? Can we, can we smash? Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Send her over here. Send her up here. I'm like, well, she has to step here. But there's no place for her to go, dude. There's no place for her to go. Undo. Then if I, whoop. Oh, if I take another step, she's going to step in the mud, brother. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm looking at this and I'm like... I think I might be stuck. There we go. I think on puzzle four, I might... Okay, that one is just absolutely brain dead on my part. Hey, hey, hey! Self, don't let yourself get down. Look at that. Rounded squares. You're doing great stuff. What if we applied the same logic here? To a rounded square. There's no turning to be done. You know what I'm th hold on, what if we can actually get her to get on from the back? Look at that! Dignity preserved. This is no longer about getting the maid into the exit. Excuse me. This is about me conquering my demons. Excuse me means at some point they are gonna collide. I see. I, I kind of see, believe it or not. We just had to get her to move out of the way so that we could make a little 
clockwise-esque spin. Okay. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Delightfully devilish. Full-time job. That one? I don't know if I understand the pun. I'm just gonna let you know. So I think we'll just... Milady, let her pass through there. And then, I, I realize now I've trapped myself, so I would say that that's probably an ill-advised idea for us. Like, once we're in here, we're, we're totally stuck. We can't get out. So how are we gonna have her cross this gap, you know? That's what we're thinking about right now. How are we gonna have her cross this gap? I mean, we could obviously get her to stand on this, but then we can't move any further. And we can't go in that way. Like, what if you if, if we did, like, a loop around here? And it'd be so much easier if you could just take down the fence. Oh, but then what are you gonna do? <laughs> He's trapped. I just did literally exactly the same thing. Full-time job. To me, that's like... They say parenting is a full-time job, right? So I'm like, we have to baby this lady. But how are we gonna... Honestly? Take me to level select? I don't know about this one. This one requires a little bit of a brain expansion. I'm not sure if I've got... Unexpected turns. How about... How about this? There you go. Step one, perhaps. Get yourself completely trapped. How about this? Start working your way around. No, I don't want to go this way. I want to go in the other direction. I want to go in this direction. But we need to... I'm, I'm realizing now there's a pattern that we've been disrespecting. And it's the pattern of the rounded... Rectangle. Like, we need to make it... So sh we, let me rephrase. I'm, I'm starting to puzzle it out. We don't really need her to step on the cape. We kind of need her to step over the cape. We need to create like concrete cape concrete so that she can actually step safely. And so we don't get stuck holding our cape like looking like a fool with our cape on the ground. You know what I mean? So like this, that's the ticket right there. But then we get stuck. Then we get stuck. Madam? Madame? Well, there's no way I... There's just not enough space to get you going this way. So how are we going to do that? We want to be in here but facing the other direction. But if we're, too, if we're doing that, you, you can't do it like that. You can't do it like that! So I did... When I was looking at the store page for this, I did see that this had a review from the creator of Baba Is You. And to be honest, that should have been enough of a sign for me to know... That, uh, the game's on the trickier side. <laughs> Alright, take, take me out of here. Put me back on level four, dude. We could do this. We could do this, I guarantee it. Full-time job. I know, by the way, you're watching this and you're going, it's infuriating. Why didn't you just have her move there? Yes! Look at this! Okay, look! Sometimes you just need the brain-expanding properties of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start utilizing your space as a resource. Madam, thank you. How am I gonna get her over this gap, though? How am I gonna get her over this gap, though? Dude, it's like driving a forklift, you know? I need so much space to turn around. Here's my thinking. But then I can't move, dude. Yeah! Oh my god, I saw it. Dignity preserved. <laughs> this is so much tougher than it looks that so you're not gonna believe me. Okay, well if we can do that, then we can do this. Unexpected turns. You know, we're utilizing our space as a resource. Let's be realistic. She can only go one step, right? Like, there's only... There's only one place for her to go. She, she can't make it anywhere else in a single step. But if we move... 
can't get her in there. Can you just jump? If you could just jump, this would be a lot easier for me. Okay. Like, the only other thing I'm thinking of... Hold on, that was... I mean, we probably have to use that little space at the end there, but... We got other things to worry about first. I'm just trying... You know what? You know what? Hold on. How about that? How about that? Okay, now we're talking. It's like, a, it's like a crossword puzzle, you know? The hardest part is just finding that first word. Once you find the first word, and you can build some context clues... The world's your friggin' oyster, dude. So now that she's here, I'm just... You think we have to go maybe back... This way. This way instead! Oh, baby! Dignity preserved! He's still going! We may indeed be able to beat World 1. Let's not get too cocky though. Let's start. Step 1. Where is she going? I mean, we got a long cape this time. Let's just take some steps and see where it, see where it leads us. There must surely be a way. Ah, oh, you know what? She has to go to this spot right there. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. So I think we'd like to go around this one in a counterclockwise fas uh, fashion, would be my guess. So, something like that, and then, there you go, easy enough. Then from there, you know I'm thinking, if we could get her to go around this corner right here, there's something. I think we need her to move down one, and then we can go... Like, obviously she can make it, but then I can't move. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Delightfully devilish. Um... Well, the other thing I'm thinking is like... Well, there's no way... No, there's no way for us to get in there and take a loop. Alright, so where, where are we taking her? I mean, the only spot we can really hit is this right here. You think we could take her... Across? Not quite. What about... No, I mean, you... We can't get into this little corner spot right here, okay? So what are we gonna do? We gotta figure out where the... Figure out what it is you do! I feel like she should be taking the corner here. But in order to do that... We gotta come around this way. And how are we gonna get past her? Can't be done. Can't be done. The puzzle's impossible. <laughs> No, 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 it's not impossible. Just think about it. You can get in there. You can take this little path up here. It really feels like it should be something... ...along these lines. But again... I feel like a broken record. I'm like, if only the cape was slightly longer. Yeah, no kidding, if only- Oh, wait, wait, wait! Hold on! Just, just stand in the bush for two seconds! David Byrne and Brian Eno lived their whole life in a bush. A bush of ghosts, no less. And then you have the audacity to not even be okay standing there for two seconds? I mean, I, the only other thing I was thinking is like, well, check this out. I could dump you in the muck, for sure. You know what? Start me from zero. I want to try this again. Maybe there's a different path we can take right off the get-go. But now, of course, I am a little concerned I'm not even going to be able to... ...get her to the space. I think we're going to be able to get her to the space. So, like, how did we solve this? Because... How did we solve that before? And there's only a couple of variables that you can work with here, right? Did we just hit it from the opposite angle to get her there? Because if so... No, there's no way that's the case. This is like... This is Snakebird 
Mind you, I didn't play Snakebird. I played Snakebird Primer, which is embarrassing. I prefer if you didn't mention it, please. I'm just... You're witnessing a man's brain melting down in real time. Obviously, she can't move at that point. Dummy. No, obviously, that doesn't work. This is literally what you just did two seconds ago. What about this, though? Yes! Okay. So you're just giving her, like, a little threshold where she can get it done. You know what? You could do... Hold on. You were obsessed with trying to turn this into an escort mission, dummy. You just do something like that, the breakthrough is happening. You just let it sit and simmer for a bit. You got it. That's the thing. You got to embrace these rounded corners. You, no, no, no. You had it. You got to embrace these rounded corners. No. Okay. Okay. So that's not the path. Something in here is the path. I, I promise you this. Perhaps we go around in the other direction instead. No, 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 you had it. Yeah. And then... You could get her to cross. That's not really what you want, though. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Delightfully devilish. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Hold on, hold on. I think I got something here. It's gonna, it's gonna spice you up. There's no doubt about that. It looks a little something like this. No, I think this is dumb. Yeah, I think this is, this is a very brain dead decision. What about this one? Then we're not trapped. But where am I gonna get you from here? <laughs> ah! Could you just expand the level or make the cave slightly longer or maybe give the maiden some more powers? Well, that would compromise the actual nature of the game. I know, but it would help me out a great deal right now. I feel like Lisa Simpson trying to solve the back of the cereal box puzzle. Ralph Wiggum solved it. Why can't I solve it? And this soundtrack is just exacerbating the problem because it sounds so casual. It doesn't feel very casual right now, let me tell you that much. It doesn't feel very casual at all. I don't. I'm also looking at this to be honest, and I'm like... Maybe we had to get her to come through this way? Cause like... Oh. Hold on, work with me on this one. Yeah, like I think we need her to be there, and then we put this down, and then she can walk across. Okay. I understand what I'm getting at. Okay, no, 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 okay, I think I've got something. I puzzled it out for a second, always dangerous to do in a YouTube video. And I want her to cross over slightly without stepping on the cape. So I think we have to come at this from a different angle. Sorry, you can tell I'm focusing because I'm off center. Yeah, okay. Now, let me remind myself of my steps here. We need her... We need to be able to complete a loop through this situation right here. Like so. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. What you're doing there doesn't make any sense. So I think I'm just about to put us back in exactly the same position we were just in. Because my thinking is like, I need to... Okay, put me on the freaking reset, duty, dude. Okay, remember. We're taking rounded corners. 
so that Madame can step to the concrete. I've already forgotten how to do it. This is this is the danger. This is the danger right here. I'm pretty sure we wanted to be approaching it from this angle. And then she just walks. Yes, okay. Then... Don't we just want to... I'm like, I think I might have overcomplicated this to an enormous degree. Don't we just want to do this? Oh my god! Then how are you going to get out? I can't get out. I think level one might be a little bit above my intellectual weight class, I'm starting to realize. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough. I'm sure, like, we... In all these puzzles, once we found the one thing we were missing, everything else flowed so freely. So freely, it might as well have been a, have been a member of KISS. Of the Ace variety. In this case, we gotta, like... Obviously, this is the path, because the, the short maze path doesn't work, and the level's called maze. You know what? I think I've actually... I think I've actually done it. And I think it involves coming at this through the opposite direction, and allowing her to step. Wow. Dignity preserved. Is it- I'm realizing now, and it's taken me way too long, you're kind of doing opposite direction circles. Like, if she wants to go to the right, you're gonna do a clockwise circle that leaves your trail going to the right so that she can get there. I think that's gonna do it for Puddle Nights, though, because honestly, I'm worried that- well, let's at least see the basic mechanic, but I'm worried I won't be able to see anything more <laughs> because of my inability. Ah, so if a knight steps on another knight's cape, well, specifically the blue knight, yeah, then it tears the cape away. Am I a genius? Confirmed non-genius levels? What are you- what are you doing there? Come on, the, you, it's easy to beat level one. We just need one extra cape in this situation. But do we want it? Where do we want it is the real question. Like, I feel like that's free. Just work with me here. <sighs> no, my cape, dude. <laughs> I need like a two-piece cape. I need a two-piece cape to remain. But I guess if I move you forward, you're really only taking more of the cape away. It's true. That's valid. Well, I don't think there's any way around this then. Yeah, I think this will work. Maybe. Maybe not. Like, you can definitely... Well, you can't really walk there, huh? Yeah, because then... I see I see your conundrum. This is... This is gridlock. This is a total traffic jam. One thing's for sure. I don't know. I, I feel like that's demonstrably bad. Because how are you going to get this guy through here? Well, hold on. Maybe if we take our own advice? No, because you're not going to be able to walk there. Then if you do that, then you can't walk any further. Look, I'll call it. The game's impossible. It can't be done. Then how are you supposed to- How are you supposed to get to the end, then? Move, please, sir. Move, please. Well, you gotta break the cape, then. 
Sure, rip that one off too, why not? I don't know. I think my brain is melted. It's a very cool puzzle game, though. I think it really, to me, shares a lot of similarities with Snakebird, where it looks very simplistic, but will actually make you tear your hair out. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And go check out Puddle Nights on Steam. If you got a bigger brain than me, I'm sure you can appreciate it. For now, though, I appreciate all the support. Hope I provided you with a little bit of Schadenfreude entertainment today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.